Okay, let me repeat. I'm going to rephrase it in another way. Listen, if you're a so-called black woman, you're a so-called black man, so-called Latino and Native and Mexican, so-called Nigerian Ghanaian, and you think that you have achieved because you built three mansions in Ghana, Nigeria, Benin, because you owe 25 houses here in America, you owe some hotel, you set up some business, guess what? You ain't done anything yet, buddy. Okay, your time on this earth is vain. You didn't do anything for the world. You waste your time. You waste your life. Until you repent and you know who you are according to the Bible and you keep on the commandment, guess what? You ain't done anything yet, buddy. You waste your time. Okay? Where is your work? Where is your work, you so-called black Latino and Native? Instead of running your mouth, instead of getting mad, instead of killing yourself for nonsense and foolishness, grab your Bible. You ain't got no Bible? This is a high time you need to go get yourself a Bible before he so fully take the Bible out of the way. Because guess what? Amos 8, 11, Maybe you never heard of that before yet. Yeah. I got a video on it. The, the, there is a famine coming. And we are talking about just the physical famine. We are talking mainly about the spiritual famine. Very soon, this scam that you see, they won't be able to, to broadcast anymore. Okay? Soon, this scam that you see, this brother, all these brother and sister coming out on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter. They're using Rumble, all type of platforms, social media, TikTok, and the list goes on to warn you. The time is now. You won't be able to see them on those social media no more. You won't see them. The most I will take them away from those social social media or platform. And you won't be able to reach out to them. Huh? So when you going to do now? When you going to do? So right now, Amos 8, 11. Let me just go over there so that brother can be aware of what we're talking about. I addressed the topic, the subject a couple of days ago. I was on Thursday in French, right? Just to absorb the brother, let's go in Amos 18 11. Okay, let's go to it. This is a book of Amos, chapter 8 and verses 11. Let's read it. I, and make sure you take a note. Don't just watch my video just for fun. You're watching my video, brother and sister, make sure you're taking note and you're learning, all right? You got to be diligent, okay? This work that we're doing is not to be famous. It's not to be in Hollywood. No, this is serious. This life-saving work that we're doing. We're doing life-saving, life-saving works to help brother and sister to work for their own salvation. Right? Let's go to Amos 18, 11 through 14. Let's read it. Behold, the day is come. So the day come is a future prophecy. Said the Lord, Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. So the famine will come on the earth. Let's see what type of famine will be. Not a famine of bread. So there won't be a famine. It, it will not be a famine of bread. Now, we do not minimize that. Right? Get ready. There will be a famine of food in the next coming two months. From the next coming two months, hey, there will be a famine. Wait. Prices of, of things will go up. You ain't see anything yet. You ain't see anything yet. Wait. Now, to overcome the famine of, of food, guess what you need to do? You must overcome the famine of the word. You got to overcome the famine of the law, the commandment. So by doing what? You repent, you keep the commandment, you seek the most high and you stay in the spirit. You stay in the spirit. You don't, you don't rely on your own understanding. Right? You don't rely on your own understanding. Right? You humble yourself, you seek the most high, and you, know, you do righteousness according to the Bible, according to Amashiach. You walk as Amashiach walk. Okay, let's read it. Behold, the days come, said the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but the hearing of the, the hearing, but of hearing the word of the Lord. So soon, brother, like we see already, Jake doesn't want to read the Bible. Jake doesn't want to listen to the Bible. Rebellious of our people, so-called blacks, Native, they're too proud, they're too cocky. They're too smart. They're too intelligent for the Most High. They think they're no more than the Most High. They're no more than Moses. They're no more than Isaiah. I'm good. I'm a Christian. That's what they tell you. When you talk to them on the street, on the highway, on the byway, the quick answer they give you, well, I'm a Christian. That means they think they're more than the Most High. They're no more than the Most High. They're no more than the prophet. That's the spirit of the so-called Latinos, Blacks, and Native Indians. They think they know everything. Just it happened because they went to Harvard University. Yeah, so-called Blacks, Latinos, and Native they think they're smart. Man, you know nothing, okay? You know nothing, man. You're just rumbling. You're just wasting your time. Let's read it. But of hearing the word of the Lord, and then shall wander from sea to sea. Guess what? It's happened soon. You're going to be looking for the camps. You won't find them. 
You're going to look for IUIC, you won't find it. You're going to look for HOI, you won't find it. You're going to look for GOCC, you won't find it. You're going to look for WFI, you won't find it. You're going to look for uh, uh, SOT, you won't find it. You're going to look for DLI of Zion, you won't find them. All right? All right? You're going to look for Israel in, 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 in the law, you won't find it. You're going to look for what? To one tribal Israel on the Christ, you won't find them. And the list goes, you're going to look for GOCC, you won't find them. Okay? And the list goes on and on and on. I cannot just number all the camps right here. So many camps to this day. So you are without excuse. Mainly, a lot of you that live here in America, you are without excuse, buddy. You haven't repent? Repent right now. This is the time you are you repent. Death is on your door, buddy. Death is on your door. Destruction, family is near to your door. Repent and keep the commandment. Repent and keep the commandment. Or you're going to get destroyed. You're going to perish in Babylon the grave. All right? Do something. Don't be lazy. Grab yourself a Bible. Buy a Bible. Or you have already a Bible? Listen. Grab that Bible. Remove the dust off of it. And start studying, man. Get yourself a notebook. Get yourself some highlighter. And start highlighting your Bible, man. Make sure your Bible is being used. You lazy. Sitting on the couch. Watching NBA season. Baseball season. Football season. Watching soap opera. Man, that's nonsense. That's foolishness. That's madness, man. Get off your behind from CNN News, man. Get off your behind from CBS News, ABC News, man. Get off your behind from Fox News, man. Go study the Bible, man. Stop being lazy, ye so-called black satire. You've been oppressed over 400 years. Repent and wake up. Over 400 years, you've been slave in this kingdom. Scattered throughout the fucking this earth. When are you going to learn, man? When are you going to wake up, man? When are you going to wake up? When? When in your grave, you're going to wake up in your grave? You can't do it. There's no waking up in the grave. There's no wake up in the grave. Once you die, it's over. You ain't coming back here, buddy. Don't think you, don't let no man fool you thinking about it. You're going to get reincarnated. Reincarnated in which sense? That's for the Indian. They believe that. Right? We believe it on what? The reincarnation through who? Amashiach, Yahawashai. How is that going to happen? When Amashiach returns, you're going to be given what? a new body and a new life. Okay? That's what we believe in. Moses is not on the earth today, man. Moses is an angel with the Mosai right now. Okay? Moses is an angel with the Mosai right now. Okay? The saints, the righteous brother and sister that die, they are as angel with the Mosai. Understand that. So once you waste this time that the Mosai gave you on this earth, this opportunity you got, Game over. Don't have in your heart as in the time of our forefather in Meribah, man. In the wilderness. Don't do it. Because it's going to cost your life. This work we're doing is for the saving of lives. Saving of lives. You don't get this in the Christian church. When you go worship the sun tomorrow, you won't get this, man. Your pastor, they can break this down for you, man. Because the most ain't dealing with them. The most ain't dealing with your pastor. No, man. Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh he's not dealing with your. Listen, man, there's no salvation in any church, okay? Salvation is with the Mosai and the Hamashiach. Keep in mind, I'm going to repeat it again. Your church, your denomination, your congregation, your pastor, they cannot save you. And they will never save you. Who will save you? The Mosai through who? Hamashiach. No one goes to the Father except through who? Hamashiach. Hamashiach is the way, the light, and the truth. So wake up. Stop wasting your time. Stop worshiping the sun on Sunday. Don't do it tomorrow. Don't do it. Don't go worship the sun tomorrow because it's going to take away your life. All right? Right, let's continue to say, not of thirst for water, but of hearing the word of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. Boom! It's coming. You won't find it. Does it sound like, like a war? Like a game? Does it sound like a game? Wait, you're going to find it soon. You're going to find out the hard way. When everything get crushed down, when the economy got reset, the whole everything, when Esau reset the whole system, when you be forced to go down with the beast, Esau, Edom, and his ruling system that he set up, all the weakness he plotted to do against the Israelite, then you're going to learn the hard way. Then you're going to try to look for the camps. You won't find them, okay? All the brothers, they be gone. Game over, buddy. You're on your own now. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? 
Just think about it. They don't tell you that. Your politicians don't tell you this thing. Do they? They don't. What do they tell you? Propaganda. Lies. Lies. They teach you lies 24-7. Your mainstream media, what do you learn? What do you learn from them? Propaganda. Lies, man. You can't even tell the truth. You can't even bring out the truth this day. They label you, they, they will label you as the bad guy. Right? <laughs> he said, in that day, shall the first virgin and young man fend for us. You're going to fend for the world. You won't find it. There won't be no more. Uh, guess what? Right now, you got this demon in uh, Florida. Not only in Florida. You know, throughout the fucking this earth. You know, they're doing it everywhere. They're taking out the Bible. They don't want the Bible to be taught. They say the Bible has a lot of hate speech. That's what they say. That's what Esau say. Esau say, listen, the Bible has a lot of hate speech. That's what they say. And guess what? That's where we're heading to. So you ain't studying. How would you know to do what the most I said to do? If you ain't got no Bible. Don't rely on the Bible on your phone because guess what? When the internet gets taken down, when Israel reset everything, you won't have internet anymore. How are you going to survive? When there's no more light in your house, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Would you be able to survive? When there's no more electricity in your house, there's no more gas coming through, how would you be able to eat? How would you be able to cook? How would you be able to keep your house warm? You're too lazy, Jake. Wake up. All right? Open rebuke is better than secret love, buddy. Let's keep on rolling. He said, they that swear by the sin of Samaria, northern kingdom and southern kingdom, both way, man, and say that God of Dan, the idol of Dan, Dan is one of the tribe of the 12 tribes. Dan, right? The Danite, live in the manner of Beersheba, live it. Even they shall fall and never rise up again. The most I say, you're going to fall. Yeah, let us get back right here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 31, and verse 17. Then my anger shall be kindled against them. So right now, the reason why you catch in hell, ye so-called black satin and Latin, why? Because you kindle fire right before the most high. Some of our brothers, they commit murder. As we're speaking right now, they're killing each other. So-called black satin and Latin, they're killing each other. Here in America, Babylon the Great, in, 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 in Mexico, right, in Peru, in all type of places, in West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, they're murdering, killing each other through all, all type of weakness, all type of madness, man. Some of them committing adultery as we're speaking right now. Some of them, they're stealing in a store as we're speaking right now. Some of them, they're robbing the bank as we're speaking right now. Weakness of our own people, man. Wake up, repent, you're running out of time. Death is on the door. You're going to get locked up by Esau, and Esau is going to jack you up, man. You want to get jacked up? You want to get put to death? Why? Why you want to die, Jake? Why? Right? Why you want to die? Why you want to die? Why would you repent? Why would you repent and keep commandment? Why would you repent and seek the most side? Let us continue. He said, then my anger shall be carried against them in that day, and I will forsake them. So the Messiah forsook us. That's why we've been oppressed. That's why we were taken as a slave. That's why we were snatched from west coast of Africa as a slave, captive, scattered throughout the fucking on this earth. That's why we were kicked out from the Holy Land, Jerusalem. The Holy Land belongs to us, man. Jerusalem belongs to the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian. Let me repeat it again. The land that you know as Jerusalem today, that we got what? The imposter that took over our land today, the synagogue of Satan, Revelation 2 and 9, Revelation 3 and 9, guess what? That's not the land. The most I just let them be there for a time. Like the most I done with who? The most I done that in the past. The land that you know at Jerusalem today in the past, the most I allowed the Canaanite and some of this nation to go and set in. The most I is long suffering, he's patient. Because he know, you know what? This is the land of my nation, my people. So I'm going to give it to them. But you know what? I'm going to do a wonders. I'm going to do some mighty work. I'm going to let the hidden take over the land for right now. But later on, I'm going to destroy the hidden from the land. And I'm going to set the land to my people. You see, the Mosai, he balances everything, man. Right now, the Mosai gave the land to who? To the other nation. To Amalekite. The Mosai giving it to the Edomite. The Mosai giving it to the Arabs. Right? The midst of mountains, the most I give unto them our land, our holy land, because we sin against the most high. But eventually, as long as we continue in this ministry, in the work of the most high, in drawing, guess what? The most high, 
He's going to kick them out from the land and restore the land unto our forefather unto us, man. As long as we continue in righteousness. You see, because this is the time of who? The Gentile. This is the time of Esau Edo. This is the time of the Chinese. This is the time of the Arabs. It's the time. That's where they want to be Muslim right now. They can be Muslim. But when our time is up, because we know, second Ezra 6 and 9, right? Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of the new one that follow after, right? So when our time start again, guess what? There won't be no Islam on the earth. There won't be no Christianity. There won't be no Phi Theta Gamma. There won't be no fraternity. There won't be no Hollywood. There won't be none of those things, all right? There won't be no CNN news, okay? There won't be no ABC news, all right? The most I will take them out of the way fully, okay? And we're going to be giving back again the Holy Land, man. So your chief joy must be Zion. You go in the book of war. Psalm 137, you can read it, man. Psalm 137. And the sister can post it. Let me go out over there quick. Psalm 137. Man. Your chief joy must be Jerusalem, man. Yerushalayim, man. Let's go to it. This is the book of Psalm. 